Welcome to the Django Project, DJ Blogger. This tutorial is part of a YouTube Django Project playlist, which you can access in the video description. You can watch the whole course from the very beginning. If you enjoy this course and would like all the updated tutorials and associated code samples and more, you can check out this course and other courses this project features at Udemy. The link to the course is in the video description. Static files, as the name suggests, are generally files that won't change throughout our application. Now imagine we created a dynamic web page. That page or that code on that page might change in order to change the color or features on that page. So static files might include, for example, CSS style sheets. It might include JavaScript files. So here in our application, we're going to need to build an area within our application where we can store static files, which can be served as well as our web page to the user in order for us to style or add code, which is going to be needed by our website in order to work correctly. So it seems like a good idea because everything in our project is inside the DJ blogger folder. Let's go ahead and add now a new folder called, let's just call it static. So inside of here, we want to serve static files. So a static file in this case, in our case, will be a CSS file. So a cascading style sheet. So here we're going to define styles that we want to apply to our web page. So let's go ahead and call this main.css. We will need to tell Django where the static folder resides. So in order to test this, let's go ahead and just type some CSS here. So don't worry if you're new to CSS, I will explain this shortly, but it is really simple to follow and pick up. So we're going to just change the background color. Notice that Visual Studio Code here has also given us a helpful hand here. So let's just pick a color, for example. So basically what I'm going to do is, what we're going to do is set up a static folder. And by ch actually changing something on our web page, we can test to see if it's working correctly. So what we have here then is a CSS file. We're going to use this to create styles or change styles on our web page. It's a static file. This is going to be served as well as the HTML template to the user. So on the user end in their browser, everything gets styled correctly. Now, what we're going to need to do here in our base, let's go back to our templates and base here. What we're going to need to do is we're going to need to include this static file in the actual base template. So it actually loads up. So this is going to go inside the head section. You can see that there already is a, a CSS file here for, from Bootstrap. So to add a new, to add a new style sheet, we're going to use this link. So inside this link, it doesn't have a start and end tag, so it's just link. So there are some tags that don't have a start and end, but most HTML tags has a have a start, and you can see see that they end with the same name and a forward slash, but not a link. So our link here has rel. So we're going to define this as a style sheet. And then what we need to do then is define where we're going to find this style sheet. So href and then equals, and then we need to define our style sheet. So here we're going to have, or we're going to define our static. So in a minute when we set this up, it's gonna make sense. So we need to call our static folder so what we're trying to do here inside of here is, is to create a, a link to it. Now, what we need to do in Django is set up where the static folder is. So we're gonna grab that location and which we're gonna set in a minute, and then we need to define where it is. So in our project, we're going to find it in DJ Blogger. Inside of there, it looks like, oh no, say it again, it's, uh, we're defining now inside the static folder here. So apologies. Let's uh, go inside of our static folder here. Let's create a new folder. Let's call this, um, uh, let's just call this the um, CSS folder. So we're just gonna create a folder called CSS here and let's put main inside of our CSS. That's just in case, for example, in our static folder, we wanted to add other files just makes it nice and logical and easy to understand where our files might reside. So CSS is going to be inside of our CSS folder inside of static. So let's go to static. So that refers to this folder here. And then inside of static, our CSS is going to be in the CSS folder. 
And then inside of there, we're looking for main.css. Okay, so hopefully that's going to make sense. Of course, this static is a little bit abstract at the moment because we haven't set that up. But like I said, that's the link that we're going to define in a minute to tell Django where to find this folder. And then once it's found that, go into CSS folder and then open up main.css. So on this page, what we need to do up the very top here, first thing is to load. We're kind of doing this backwards almost, but we're going to need to load the static. Okay, so that will load static and then that will give us the option then to go to that folder and then access our main.css. Now it's also worth noting that this is going to be utilized predominantly here in development. When we go to production, we might make some changes to this. Right, but let's just familiarize ourselves with this process. So now what we need to do is define our static folder. So that is all going to be in the settings file. So let's go into our DJ blogger. Let's go into our settings, we can find them. I can't find them. Okay, let's just uh, bring everything down. TJ Blogger, um, TJ Blogger, settings, folder, there we go. Right, so inside of his base, so inside of it, we go down a little bit, we can see we have some template options and right at the bottom here, we have something called static URL. So we have initially placed static inside of our inner DJ blogger folder here because it kind of makes sense. The fact that this, these files are going to be needed for the, our app. Obviously we're placing everything inside of here. So it makes perfect sense. But in addition to that, ultimately my static files, they are probably going to be placed somewhere else. For example, on another service online, and they're going to be then served from that service. So static folders, and files aren't necessarily going to be naturally placed, in my opinion, inside of our app here. Although it is attached to this folder, ultimately, they are going to be a folder which I want to manage separately when I actually deploy my application. So I'm going to drag this out and put it into the upper DJ Blogger area. So we have a static right here now, which is in the outer DJ Blogger. I've just dragged it out. It's no longer in the inner DJ Blogger. So you can see the static URL here. It's going to look for the main project folder, DJ Blogger, and then potentially at the moment, it's going to look for this static folder. So let's just test this out. Now, making the assumption you have made some changes here to the body, we're trying to change the background color. So let's go back into our code, just refresh. And you can see that it isn't necessarily working at this point. So I'm going to open up Chrome at this point. So I've now opened up Google Chrome here because it's probably likely that you're using Google Chrome. So let's utilize some of these tools here to diagnose what's going on. If I press F12, that's going to bring up this panel here and we can take a closer look at the code. So here in the elements, you can see that it shows me all the code and this corresponds. If you take a look at it, it will correspond to the code that we've already written in our templates. So up top here in the body, we should find our style sheet. It's right here and you can see the link to it. So potentially we could, uh, for example, copy this and we could navigate to it. If static was working correctly, it's likely that we'd be able to see our static file here or it would be downloaded. So let me show you with the, just go back with this uh, link here. This is the style sheet from Bootstrap. If I were to use that link, you can see it shows me all the CSS indicating that we can access it. So clearly we can't access this static file at the moment. So now we have a way of checking our static files from the front end. Let's go back into the base here and just show you the different settings that need to be configured potentially before we can set up static files. So it might change or it might you might have a different experience on your build. And I want to try and make sure that you have enough information to fix any problems that you might have. Now, it's important to make sure that the static files is in the installed app. Now, if you have just created a Django project that will be automatically added by default. So that's the first setting for static files. So next up at the bottom here, you've seen that we have this static URL, which defines where we're going to serve the static files from when we're in the browser, it's going to be slash static slash. So that should then navigate to the static folder. Now what we can do here in Django is we can define other static folder or 
we can tell Django where to look for other static files. So static files directory, and in here, we can then tell Django to look for something. So we can use the base directory. That's the base directory that we set up the top here. And then we can tell Django to look for the base, apologies, base directory, and then look for a folder. So in this case, it's going to be static. Now, what we need to remember here is that we have a slightly custom setup here in actual fact, in terms of how we're setting up our project in comparison to maybe how others or others you may have seen have set up their project, being that we're trying to put everything inside of this DJ blogger in a folder. Now, what we've done earlier is we took the static folders out of the main DJ blogger folder and we've added it here in the outer DJ blogger area. So it's in this outer DJ blogger area. And I did that for reasons that, you know, eventually this static folder will um, reside somewhere else when we deploy this, maybe on, for example, Amazon services. So I'm going to serve them from a different place. So I'm going to move that back now into DJ Blogger. Okay, so I'm going to move that folder back now into DJ Blogger and add it into the inner DJ Blogger folder because here our base directory is the DJ Blogger folder. Now, if I were to add static to the, the outer DJ blogger folder, I would need to add another parent here. And this would now refer to the base directory being this outer DJ blogger folder. So because I'm working inside of this DJ inner folder, I have defined my base directory inside of this folder. So that's where I'm looking for static folders at this point. So what I've done here is I've taken the base directory, which is this folder here, DJ Blogger, and then I've looked for a folder called static. So I have now successfully connected this static folder up. So everything should work now. So let's go back into my um, CSS here. So make sure you've got some sort of color set here. So let's just change this to blue violet. Okay, so that's in my main CSS. So just make sure you've got background color set there. Uh, let's go back into Chrome. I'm now going to refresh and my site can't be accessed because I haven't got the server on. Always a good thing. So let's go back and we're now going to refresh and you can see this still not working. All right, so let's try this out again. You may have heard the surprise in my voice. So we still can't find our file. Okay. So I can see the problem here. Apologies, static files, duh, with an S on the end. We're going to need an S here. So let's go back to our code. Let's refresh. And there we go. So we can now access our CSS page. So it should work. And there we go. So a quick recap then. First of all, make sure that the base directory is pointing in the right place. Otherwise, it won't work at all. So here we have parent parent. So currently, we're inside of this DJ blogger folder. So that's the first thing. Second thing, just make sure you have a static file app installed. Third, we're going to need to make sure our static URL is set. So that's set. The name is the same as the, the folder that we're using. And then we have told Django to look in some additional places. So that includes the static folder that we generated here. So Django looks for the base directory path, which is inside of his inner DJ blogger folder here. And then inside of there, we have a static file folder, sorry. And that's where all of our static files are going to be placed. And then for the front end, we need to tell Django to load static in our template. Then we use static to refer to the URL that we're building here for the style sheet. And then inside of that folder, we have CSS. And inside of that folder, we have main.css. That's our CSS file.